everyone and Trisha with me Jenny and it's time for another Not Naked video response to Trisha Hershberger series The Naked Truth where we talk as candidly and as truthfully as possible about the subject of her choosing. Um, most people choose to do it naked, I choose not to but straight out of the bath in this case. Um, wet hair, no makeup um, and my rule of thumb is I wear clothes that I wouldn't normally wear outdoors or in public so mostly PJs. Um, and yeah, today's subject um, is a very important and complicated one and one that I really can't discuss that well because racism is not something that I have any right to discuss uh, being for the most part apart from being very very rosy cheeks right now um, a very pale white female person um, and I have discussed race in the past, um, I discussed racism in cosplay for one of my cosplay videos a while ago um, and my general consensus is as long as you are being culturally sensitive um, and not choosing um, a racial icon as your character if you are not part of that race for which they are an icon then go to town, you know, Superman is defined by his Americanism not by his race, so any race is a free for all, um, but um, you know, there are characters that are defined by the race, for example Black Panther, if you are not of that descent then that would be culturally insensitive and as long as you're willing to kind of deal with the cultural implications that, you know, playing that character who is a cultural icon um, and a racial icon when you're not part of that race, as long as you're able to deal with those complications then sure go to town if you really really want to put yourself through that stress um, but you know if it is a racial icon I would recommend not cosplaying if you're not part of that particular race um, and it's, it's such a complicated issue and there's so much that I could talk about and there's so much that I shouldn't talk about as a white person uh, because you know the status quo as it is right now is that I don't really have much to discuss on the subject and it should be left to people who have been affected on a personal level to discuss it um, you know it just hasn't really affected me personally that much in my life um, and as sad as it may sound I can remember the first time or at least somewhere in the back of my brain one of the first times I saw someone who was not white and that is incredibly incredibly depressing as a concept um, and it was at the age when I was scared of everyone I was at the age where I was still understanding who people are and I hid from my grandparents because they were old and I you know I was at the age when this is maybe two, three years old where, you know, I just, I met strangers and I'd hide behind my mum and I can remember walking through town and seeing someone who was not white and being scared and it was, it wasn't a strange, it wasn't a racial fear, it was a stranger fear, um, but I have that distinct memory somewhere in the back of my brain and that scares me as a concept because it means that my upbringing was very, very much a one-dimensional upbringing. Um, just simply because in the environment that I grew up in it's very very one-dimensional in terms of racial diversity um, and that has expanded as I've grown up um, but definitely going to university was a whole whole other thing where suddenly there's people that you know my primary school was vast majority white I think there was one black student my second Duro school um, there was I think two black students um, n I don't think there was I can't remember remember any Asian students at all, and it was a vast majority white area. Um, and for that, I feel kind of culturally impoverished, in that I haven't had that much experience until I got to university. And then I was like, yeah, this is how the world is meant to be with people of all kinds and shapes and sizes and races and everything. And it's very, you know, foolish of me as a white person to be you know, everyone should love each other and everyone should be treated equally regardless of race or gender or sexuality or physical sex or anything. It's very idealistic and very foolish of me to be able to say everyone should be treated equally when clearly in the world they are not. Um, but I feel like they should be and I hope that that feeling is shared by others and that it, you know, one person believing it will help other people believe it but in the end it's not my battle in that it is not something that I have been personally affected by it's something that I 
have to just, you know, if I can do something to help I will, but I don't think there is anything that I should be able to discuss from my perspective because it's not something that has affected me personally and I realise that that's a very rambly argument and um, I have to state the reason why I'm quite so pink is because I just had a two hour long bath uh, with a glass of red wine or two so um, I'm sorry if my argument is a little bit loopy but there we go um, thank you all for watching I don't know if I said anything at all useful but hopefully I have um, Feel free to comment down below if you have any opinion. Just try and keep it civil and um, respectful. Um, and there we go. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys all next week for another Naked Truth and tomorrow for another daily vlog. Uh, all of those things. Um, yeah. Bye guys.